Perhaps you've not heard Photoshop has been cloned. <gasps> yes. Yes. It's been so good to have a replica of this application. Wow. And what's more special is the fact that the clone is just identical. They have similar interface, similar structure. The design tools and workspace arrangements are almost the same. And above all, the same name for the icons, widgets, tools, and menu. So you don't have to learn this application all over. Introducing the most special part of this application is that it is Free. You don't have to pay a dime for any pro features or need to upgrade to use any particular feature. Everything is absolutely free. Yes. So if you can use Photoshop before now, you have absolutely no problem. But if you don't know how to use Photoshop, they have step-by-step -step beginner guide to teach you how to use this application. All you need is just the internet, a web browser, and your phone or PC. So letting the cat out of the bag, we are talking about Photopea. Just go to photopea.com with your PC or phone on any web browser. You can see here the features of Photopea. It is a free online photo editor, fully local. It is cost effective. You will enjoy all the premium features without paying a dime. You don't have to install any software on your device. Just open your browser and start editing. It runs on any device. Another important feature here is that it has full PSD support. That is to say, you can open your Photoshop files in here. It also supports all graphics formats. You can open and edit your PNG, JPEG, GIF, SVG, PDFs, AI, AVIM, and even MP4 and Figma, plus 40 other formats. Something for photographers. You can perfectly edit your photos with Photopea. Moving on. Wow, state of the art AI. Wow. Remove background with one click or replace any part of an image with a new content through the first description. This is absolutely amazing. You get this for free in Photopea, unlike Photoshop. All essential features. You know how it goes layer marks, layer styles, converted to smart objects, adjustment layers, and more. Adjustments and filters, all the curves, camera roll, Gaussian blur, even liquify or puppet work. Vector graphics. This is super amazing. That means you can actually have both Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator in one application. Who can benefit from our photo editor? Social media enthusiasts, students and educators who can create stunning visuals for presentation, assignments and more. Small business owners, edit product photos and create engaging content for your website and online store. Graphics designers, you know how it goes. So, if you're a beginner, you can learn Photopea using their resources online. You can convert images to mp4 videos online. This is mostly for content creators. You can also learn how to batch convert images online without uploading them. Publish your PSD templates in Photopea. There are so, so much you can do with this application. You can as well convert Figma to PSD. You can learn how to apply oil paint filter online. So many resources to help you learn this application. Let's go to the application proper. You can open any file you want here in Photopea. You can drag and drop your files down here. If you're editing with Photoshop, and something happens, you can drag the file down to Photopea to complete your work. Open from your computer as well. So let's create a new file. For account sake, you can create an account if you want, but it is totally for free. The pro version here is to remove the ads displaying at this corner. Maybe probably this is how they make their money. But paying $5 per month compared to the features you get here, I think it is worth it. Also, you get 3,000 AI credits and two more steps in history. Whereas for me, I go with the free version. Like I said before, you don't need to create an account if you don't want to. Okay, before we move on, let's compare both applications, their interface before we start designing a flyer. Both have select two. All three features, the magic one, quick selection, object selection are all in one place. The eraser tool all present, rectangle tool exactly in both, and so on and so forth. The pen tool, direction tool, all present. If you go to the edit menu, everything is present, transform, skill, etc. The image menu, the layer, filters. We also have the camera roll, liquify, and trust me, it works absolutely the same like Photoshop. So we are going to redesign this flyer I made with Photoshop using Photopea. I've already downloaded the elements I used for this tutorial script. For this tutorial sake, 
If you want to use them, ask in the comment section. I will send them directly to you. Drag and drop the background into photo feed. Before we do that, let's let's set our workspace just like in Photoshop. Toggle on the transform control so that you can see what you are rescaling. Using the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle just like the one in the other design for uniformity sake. We we'll just copy the color code from Photoshop, then Ctrl V or Command V to paste. Then drag the PC, double tap to transform, and then we scale. Next, the test. Pick the test tool and write as follows. Rescale and change the size of the font. Next, it is subscribe art. Always make sure you drag the layers accordingly. Next is the channel name. Afterwards, the username, which is Creative Moment Hub. Adjust the corner radius of the rectangle. Type the test and give it a white color. Then we scale. 18 pesos should be okay. For the PC screen, we will take a screenshot of the channel. Copy and paste. Copy the screenshot and resize to PC screen size. By the way, if you appreciate what we do here, you can support us or join our membership group. Note, always make sure you save your work. It's just like Photoshop. So always remember to save your file and also save your work at intervals. For the screenshots, we will choose Edit, Transform and click on Distort. Then we perfectly place it within the screen size frame. To create a shadow, we will use the pen tool. Create a new layer below the PC. Then with our pen tool, draw, the, draw an imaginary shadow. Go to filter, blow, then Gaussian blow. Adjust to create a shadow-like feature. You can adjust the text, add social media stuff, and then add logo. Finally, this is why I said Photopea is a replica of Photoshop. You can open the file of Photopea in Photoshop and vice versa. The layers remain intact, no distortion, exactly as it is in the other application. That is it for now for this video. More tutorials, especially on the AI expression feature and making videos with Photopea will be coming your way soon. Thank you for being a part of this video. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button. So ask any questions you might have in the comment section. For most to you, stay creative, live in the moment. Bye for now.